goodness and mercy. He said, there was another fellow there. And I didn't think I could take both of y'all. Sometimes you just got to have enough faith to know that God is going to deliver you no matter what. If God be for us, then who can be against us? Now, let me put it like this. The problem that we really have is that we sometimes go outside the will of God trying to do what we want to do instead of staying in the will of God. And sometimes staying in the will of God is difficult because he won't let you do what you think is best for you to do. God, be looking at you. I done told you to get your pants somewhere to sit down. Now, what I got to do is to make you sit down. And you trust me. You don't want God to make you sit down. Because once he gets started, they don't need to talk about it. I got to look. Ask Jonah. One night in the belly of the fish would have been enough. God said, no, nah, I ain't here yet. Stay out another night. Second night. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready, Lord. I, I do it. Lord, just get me out of here. I do it. Nah, I ain't here yet. Now he's in panic mode. The third night. He's screaming and I'm taking me out of here. Look what the Bible says when 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 the great whale spit him up. When the feet hit the ground, he didn't walk, he ran. He didn't have to say I'll go do, he was on his way. He had to sit him down and let him know, you do what I tell you to do, because he thought these folks think they don't deserve being saved. Why would I preach to them? They don't deserve being saved. How they treated us the way that they have? They don't deserve being saved. You look at him after he preached, and they repented, and God spared the city. He sat on the rock, mad, because they had been delivered. Don't that sound like how some of us church folk are? We get mad when God delivers somebody that we thought he ought to sit straight to hell. <laughs> if he saved you, he can save anybody. If he can turn your life around, he can turn their life around. So why would you wish for them to go someplace where you don't want to go? Jehovah is a living tower of safety. Proverbs 18 and 10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord will... The Lord will, if you take it in the name and you put your trust in him, he is your strong tower. He is your place of safety. All you got to do is trust. But some of us will trust in anything before we trust in God. Yeah. We trust in anything. I know, I know it gets rough sometimes when you try to do what the Lord wants you to do. It gets real hard sometimes when 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 you're trying to do what God has, has said you ought to do in His Word. There's some other things we got to start looking at. Everything you need to know about God's will for your life is in His Word. You don't have to go looking for it. Read. 
Breathe. Breathe. I know some of y'all, y'all too young, maybe even know it came back. There used to be uh, in, in the Baptist church when they they had a coaster, they didn't have choir directors doing all that major ed stuff. <laughs> they had a coaster. And they saw the shape note music. And when they would be singing those songs, he would tell them, when, when they got through with the do, re, mi, he would say, read, and they would begin to sing the words of the song. Some of us want to know, God, what you want me to do? Well, if you've been reading it back, you know what he wants you to do. Because it's in the word. His will for your life is in his word. God's will for you is that you might be saved. His will is that you obey his word. You can't do nothing else for God till you learn how to obey. Obedience. Better than you gotta learn how to obey. Well, well, that just didn't make sense. A whole lot of stuff don't make sense to you because you don't know everything. Amen. To be an expert in any field means you know all there is to know about that subject. And how many of you know all there is to know about any given subject? You might have a lot of knowledge, but you don't know all there is to know. Some of us are trying to. And I was looking at this the other day when the volcano had uh, erupted there, in, I believe in Iceland or Greenland, somewhere up in that area, and, 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 and looked at folks, what they were doing. They were rushing there to cook hot dogs on hot logs. Thinking to myself, I said, mm -hmm. later on in life, you wonder, why is my skin turning like this? Right. Yeah. You remember when you were trying to cook that hot dog on that blog? You got cooked too. tell us what we should do and we keep on doing what it says we all got to do. Yeah. If you want to be inside the fortress, you got to learn how to obey. And then when you are inside the fortress, you'll be able to let somebody know that Jehovah is eternal refuge of joy. That joy in his level everlasting arms. Yeah. That's joy knowing that no matter what happens in my life, God is always going to be here. Yeah. All you got to do is entrust your life to the Lord. Your lifelong dreams, your career, your money. Your noble causes, all will be blessed yeah. Yeah. when you learn how to just simply trust him with your life. Yeah. Yeah. You got to learn how to trust Christ. I know you trusted him initially. And I know that sometimes you think because the storm is raging, that God 
past for second. But I want you to know here today. And I guess this is the point where I, I was wondering why this appeal to my spirit. Somebody needs to know that even though the storm is raging, my soul is anchored in the Lord.
at this time, there may be someone who has heard the gospel story and is willing to accept Christ as your personal servant. Whether you be listening via Facebook or on the conference line, we ask that if you give your heart to the Lord and put your name on the Lord as as possible. Let's just do the rest of this as we get ready to go to the next part of our service. There is a name I love to hear. I love